Hello, hello everybody. This is Sheila with Simply Simple Creations by Sheila. And today I'm taking this little sign that I got from Hobby Lobby for $1.74. And I am just using the um, chalkboard paint from the Dollar Tree and going to just go over it. it. You can still see a little bit of the L through that, but I didn't put a second coat on there. I could have, but I only used one coat. But I went all the way around this little sign and... I um, made sure my brush strokes were pretty even because I just don't like brush strokes, y'all. And um, that was pretty much it for that. It didn't take much paint at all. As you can see, I didn't even add any more. Y'all, there was a dead fly on that. Is that not gross? I didn't even realize that's what it was. Ugh. Well, anyway. Anyway, I was trying to be careful and not get paint on the beads, and I did a really good job, except for apparently I had it all over my hand and ended up getting it all over my beads anyway. So, I didn't paint the back of it, though. Anywho, so here's where I even out my little brush strokes, trying to get them straight and even. And then, look, look at all that paint I got on those beads, and I'm sitting here pointing to my screen like y'all can see me. But now we're just going to dry it, and I am going to be putting some I'm gonna make a Christmas tree on this y'all this is pretty easy and you can see it's drying really good this I love this black chalkboard paint from the Dollar Tree it is good y'all if you can get your hands on some grab it look look at that I got me I got it all over it I did touch up the beads but I did not touch them up on camera I left them alone and I just kept getting more and more because it was on my finger and I didn't realize it so anyway um I laid out my be or not they're not beads i laid out my buttons ahead of time and we're going to make a little button christmas tree and i did this kind of backwards and you're going to see here in a minute i should have deleted more of this but this project literally took me four minutes so i couldn't delete much out of it so i took this stem that i got from hobby lobby they come in a bundle and I cut it down, so you did, I didn't show you that part either, but I cut it down. I didn't get all the fuzz off of it because it has like a little felt thing on the back, but you can't hardly see it, so it's all right. And then I started with my middle button because I'm doing five, and so I did a row of five and a row of four, three, two, one, and you'll see all of that. And I know that this isn't so much fun to watch here, but you can always fast forward if you want to. But anyway, this turned out super, super, super cute, and I love these buttons. They came from Amazon, actually, and I've had them for a couple of years, but you can still get them on Amazon. Um, you can see all the paint on my hands. Ha, ha. It's still there. But um, anyway, these buttons are super fun. They have the little plaid, the polka dots, the little flower ones, and I tried to keep it to where I didn't have, like, two of the same color touching at any time. They might have been close, but you only have so many colors that you can do. So we started, and I spaced them out just a little bit. I, t I mean, they're, they're butted up to each other, but they're spaced out a little bit because this is just really a whimsical, fun little tree. Um, something else that I did that you, you'll see at the very end, I didn't show it on camera, is I added a little bow to the top of it, but I didn't make the bow because y'all have seen me make the shoestring bow 100 times, and that's all I did was make a little shoestring bow. You could add... A heart to this this could be done a heart to it a star to it instead of that top I could have put a star there but that is it y'all it was super fun super easy and I got all the cobwebs off there but here it is and look at that cute pink bow I love that so I hope that you enjoyed this and I hope that um, it inspires you to make something fun and whimsical for your Christmas tree y'all have a great day and I love you guys bye